We are tracking breaking news this morning. A lot to get to. The big story right now is what's happening in Pullman. This morning we've learned that a man is dead after a standoff next to WSU's campus. Channing Curtis is in Pullman right now. Channing, what information do you have for us this morning? Yeah, Tim, we actually just heard from the Pullman chief of police literally just moments ago who gave us a slight update on the situation. So now we did learn that around 837 last night, police received a phone call from actually this apartment complex right behind us, and they didn't tell us who called, but we do know that a man in his 30s was threatening to harm his roommates. So at that time, police did respond. They were able to get those two roommates out safely. We're told that they're doing fine at this time, but we're also told that a member of the SWAT unit did shoot and kill that 30 year old suspect who was threatening to harm his roommates. Now again, police have told us that this is the early stages of the investigation, so they are continuing to work. And again, this is a very active scene uh, behind me right now. While we just got here at this area, we saw another couple of police cars who pulled up from Pullman police, but we're also told that Washington State uh, police are actually on their way as well. They're the ones who actually have to clear this scene. As you can see, there's still a lot of crime tape and this section of the street right near Stadium Way is still closed off. Traffic is being slightly re it, but it's not a major impact to traffic in the area just yet. There's just a few lanes that are closed and people are taking the slight detour in the area as well. So now we're going to continue gathering more information for you all and, and try and speak to some students here who are impacted because of course this is late in the semester. I'm sure a lot of people have finals and those late classes to get to or early classes rather to get to this morning. So we're going to continue gathering the latest information and we'll share that with you all morning long here on up with Krim. All right, Channing Curtis reporting live in Pullman for us. Thank you, Channing. We'll check back in with you.